What's happening, fam? Um, LAR movement still moving. Subscriber die trying. You see the thumbnail. You know, reasons why racism, uh, why capitalism is racist. And here's the thing. So we was having this, this, this conversation, me and my lady was having this conversation about just America, about capitalism in general. And I just posed a question. And I've asked this before for, of other people, but I, I just forgot about making a video about this. If Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or Steve Jobs or uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, you know, uh, all these millionaires, billionaires and millionaires, if they were black, if they were actually like born black, like if Warren Buffett was a black child in Nebraska buying stocks at, at the age that he was buying stocks at, would he become the Warren Buffett we know? And the answer was no, because of the, the adversity, you know, hey, you, you little black kid, you can't be buying stocks, this, that, and the third, you know. Um, if, you know, like Steve Jobs were black, How would his, you know, if Mark, if Mark Zuckerberg and, those, and, and the guys he started with, if they were black, Paul Allen was black. And they, they, these guys come from all different places. Like the guys who created Facebook, Paul Allen is part of Microsoft with um, Bill Gates. Uh, if these guys were black and they came from different places and, and they brought their minds together to, to create something, could, could, they even, could, could they even get that college experience of coming together? You get what I'm saying? How many teachers will get in the way? How many principals will get in the way? How many superintendents will get in the way? How many um, applications would, 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 would they be denied to? You know, we're going to Harvard. No, no, actually you're not. You know, no, you're not. And then, you know, bring it into um, the academic part of it. Um, how... We're talking about like Asians, right? Like Asians are uh, academically the most, uh, the, the smartest people in America by demographic. I think in Nigerians, I want to say. But the irony of that is, what is the representation at the higher up level? How many of the, you know, as a community, Asians, they do their thing. They pull their money, they come together and, and, they, and they help each other. But they call it a bamboo ceiling because there's only so far you can go. Like we, we call it glass ceiling, they call it bamboo ceiling. So if if they're so good at tech, how come you don't see that many Asian uh, billionaires, millionaires, you know, and billionaires? Because they're so good at these things. And it's just, you know, I can change the race. What if... Um, like I said, what if Jeff Bezos was Asian? Would that work in America? You know what I'm saying? What if he was Hispanic? Would that work in America? Would he be able to get the, 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 uh, not, like Jeff Bezos got like 300 grand from his dad, you know, but would that whole model work? Like, with the family dynamic of the family having money from their hard work, could that work? Like, people forget when people talk about Jewish people, but basically white people, but Jewish people in particular. One of the reasons why they're in so, so heavy in entertainment is because of, of quote-unquote racism. It really ain't racism with them because they're white, but it's more of like a religiousism. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of their stuff comes from, well, sports and entertainment because they were the original, they were baseball players and actors and this, that, and the third who, be, who began to build what we know as Hollywood today. And, you know, the other things that go on abroad, but in America, I'm talking specifically. So, and they, were, and they blended in to white society, changed their names, so on and so forth, because they knew with their own names, they weren't going to be able to do it. So, <clears throat> looking at it now, 
Like, would, would Jerry Bruckheimer be who he is if he was black? You know what I'm saying? Could he go to Hollywood and become that? Probably not. Probably not. You know, when you look at these things of, of how capitalism works in society, <clears throat> with, 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 people, with people like with Robert Downey Jr., could he be as successful if he was black? Could he, would he get these second chances if he was black? Probably not. Probably not. You know, um, and the only reason I bring this up is because when people talk about the racial aspect of America, you know, but the American dream, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness and all that jazz, nobody asks the questions like, well, since we all have an equal opportunity, well, look at the successful people that you think of and tell me, will their opportunity be the same if you change their race? Could they wind up with the same ending if you change their race in America? And the answer is resoundingly no. No. Because all you have to do is change their race and their whole trajectory. Same abilities, same vision, you know, same team. They could be the same team, but they're not going to get there. And people will go, well, what, what, what if what, maybe it's the society? That's my point. Maybe it's the culture of the community. You know, okay, if you want to go there, how will these people make out? How, how will they? How will this pan out? Because would would the Facebook story basically be the Wu Tang Clan now? You know, <clears throat> the best you can get is, you know, music. You see what I'm saying? And at the same time, <clears throat> the business deals would be different. How would these people will wind up in a shark tank environment everywhere they go? You know, I'm just saying. You tell me if I'm right, you tell me if I'm wrong. But I'll catch you on the next one. Like, share, subscribe, or die. Try and peace.